Hello, I'm DCTV director Diamond Lewis. Welcome to this DCTV Spotlight DeKalb, where we shine light on DeKalb's history makers, community leaders, and unsung heroes. Today's Spotlight is without question a history maker and leader here in DeKalb. DeKalb's top cop takes time out of her busy schedule to talk with us today about her newest position in a long list of accomplishments. When a young child witnesses an injustice, it can sometimes leave a psychological scar that can hinder development and life choices. For Mirtha Ramos, growing up on the streets of Philadelphia, she witnessed events by police that made her say, I want better. And she did get that. Rather than become a statistic, she decided to pursue a career in law enforcement. And with determination, education, and a powerful work ethic, she has gotten to the top ranks right here in DeKalb County as none other than our newest top cop. Police Chief Ramos entered law enforcement in 1997 at the age of 21 when she left Philadelphia for the city of Miami with her two small children. It was a life altering decision that spanned 22 years and saw her rise through the ranks from uniformed police officer all the way up to North Division Commander with the Miami-Dade Police Department. In her capacity of division commander, she supervised more than 1,047 employees in four police districts, including Miami International Airport and Special Patrol Bureau. The departments under her included special response teams, aviation, marine patrol, bomb disposal, special events, and special investigations. But it was her continued outreach to youth of the Miami-Dade community that made her so unique. A graduate of the FBI National Academy, she took every opportunity to develop her mind and strengthen her character to serve by example. Her superiors have called her compassionate, no-nonsense, and a leader who truly believes in mentoring others. Chief Ramos will now oversee a department with 800 sworn officers, 110 civilian employees, and a budget of $95.1 million here in DeKalb County. And now, DeKalb, it is my honor and our pleasure to bring you this exclusive interview where we shine our spotlight on none other than DeKalb's top cop, Chief Mirtha Ramos. So thank you so much for joining us today, Chief. It's my pleasure. Now, my first big question for you, and I talked about this with you before, Ramos or Ramos? If you say my name in English, it's Ramos. If you say my name in Spanish, it's Ramos. See, and I told you I can't do that, so it's going to be Ramos. Yes, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> that's fine. So now we all know how to properly address our chief. Chief Ramos or? Ramos. Okay, <laughs> there you go. So with that being said, we've got that out of the way. Welcome to DeKalb County. Thank you. I, I've been feeling very welcome since I got here. Now, you have truly hit the ground running. You've only been in the seat for a, a few days almost. You've really hit the ground running. Talk to me about what you feel thus far being the new top cop here in DeKalb. Well, one of the things that surprises me the most is actually the community and how much they embrace our police officers. So it makes me proud to hear about all the good things that our officers have been doing. And I've been going to a lot of community meetings and everybody has been so positive and supportive. Instead of saying, what can you do for us? Most of them are saying, what can we do for you? So that's uh, unusual for me. So the, I guess the Southern hospitality is real. So I've been feeling welcomed. Um, I'm very proud of the DeKalb County Police Department and the work that they've been doing. And just hearing about it just kind of reemphasizes the fact that I've made a good decision coming here. Well, we're certainly happy you're here. Now, you're new to us, yes. but you're definitely not new to law enforcement. I am not. You've been in law enforcement for decades. Talk to me about how you've risen through the ranks. Well, I started law enforcement back in 1997. I started out as a police officer, um, and I went up the ranks. So I'm very proud of saying that I hit every single milestone. And for us in the Miami-Dade Police Department, you can take civil service exams up to the rank of captain. But anything above that, you have to be appointed. Uh -huh. And generally, that's done on merit and experience. 
So I've scored very highly on my exams. I dedicated myself to being a supervisor so that I can help the department move along. And then I got appointed to major and then a division chief. So I've went up the ranks and every rank I learned something different. I was exposed to different challenges, different areas of the department. And I was very blessed to be part of a large department. So my experience was in different areas. Well, you know, they say one of the characteristics of a great leader is someone who can hear. And you actually are listening to your team. And I think that's wonderful. It's not just about me. It's about the officers, it's about the community. We all have to come together to be successful. We were proud to carry the press conference live when the CEO announced that you would be our new top cop. And let's take a quick look at that press conference. My job here is to make the job of the police officers and any, anyone in between a little bit easier, a little bit better. If I can make their job easier, they will be even happier to serve you as their community. Once again, we're here to protect and serve, and that's what I'm here for. Thank you. Chief Ramos, what I hear from you here today and during that press conference is sincere passion. Passion for the people in the community and passion for the people who you work alongside. What does it mean to wear the badge? I'm very honored to wear the badge. And we just had a graduation recently. And I told them, you now represent law enforcement across the world because what we stand for it's, it, it's really honorable. We're here to protect and serve. We're running towards things that the average person is running away from. And I don't think most people actually grasp that, is that if we were in a room and someone came in shooting, you all have the right to go and leave. We do not. We will stand and we will face what's coming at us. And it doesn't mean we're not scared, but it means that we're meant to protect and serve. And when you have it in your heart and when you really feel it, you're going to do a good job. So while most people are running away from stuff, we're just heading face first, head in, uh, quick on our feet, just running towards the danger rather than away from it. And I, I do feel passionate. I feel passionate because I grew up in a community where law enforcement was not probably the best. Um, where I was born and raised, I saw a lot of things that I rather wish I did not see. So I grew up saying, I'm going to do different. I'm going to be different. I'm going to be the change that I wish I had when I was younger. So when you grow up and you feel like you're alone and you don't have anyone to turn to, if we can do that as law enforcement, give you that person that you feel you can turn to and trust, I want to be that. I want our officers to be that. So once again, it's not really just about me, but I'm kind of explaining my passion for the job. Where I was failed growing up by adults. I don't want anyone else to feel that law enforcement or anyone in their life is failing them. So when everything else fails, I want you to be able to turn to us and know that we're here for you. So that's where my passion comes from and trying to be for people what maybe I didn't have for myself. That's beautiful. I have to ask you this. Um, it's a tough climate yes. right now where society and the general population and law enforcement, there's a little tinge there. That's to put it softly. Yes. What would you say about, you said the word trust. How do you plan to work to instill that level of trust in DeKalb County's Police Department from the constituents that you serve? Well, I think I'm going to do it the same way I'm going to do it with the officers. I am going to do what I say, and I'm going to say what I mean. In the sense of, I think when you say you're going to do something, you should do it. If someone asks you to do something, you should make sure that you do it if you say you are follow through, consistency. I want to lead by example. So I don't want to tell them what to do, really. I want to show you what to do. If I'm expecting professionalism, I'm going to make sure that I give it. Not just to the community, but to our officers as well. Sometimes we treat people on the outside better than we do those closer to us. I want to make sure that the guys feel appreciated. I want to make sure that the community feels we are here for you. I believe in follow up, follow through. And I think when people can believe that you're going to do what you say you're going to do, I think there's a level of trust, at least that you're going to follow up. And I think that's very important. Now, let me ask you this. I walked into this room. We're here at the police headquarters. And there were tons of stuffed animals in the media room. And I said, well, what's going on there? So I started poking around and asking some of the officers. And they weren't sure where the stuffed animals came from, but they did tell me that you have a true heart for children. Yes. Talk to me about that and, and how you use your tools in law enforcement to uh, become kind to those who are much younger and, and instill in them what they should see and believe when they see someone with the badge on. I don't ever want the youth to feel like they have nowhere to turn. I understand a lot of the pain. 
for a multitude of reasons. I understand their pain. So when I see a child, I don't become kind. It just melts my heart because I want them to know that they are loved. I want them to know that they matter. I want them to know that no matter what is being said at home, no matter what is being said in the news, you are important and you can do whatever you want to do. And I think you just need one person, one person to believe in you so that you know you can fly into whatever you want. I don't believe in limitations. I don't believe in excuses. And when people give excuses, you just knock them down and say, you can be whatever you want to be. The choice is within you. If you're struggling, I understand, but keep fighting. The choice is yours to fight or give up. So when I see the youth, I see the opportunity to mold. I see the opportunity to inspire. I see the opportunity to give them courage to know that if someone like me can do it, anybody can do it. And so when I see the youth, I just see potential. I see the future. I see what can we do. We criticize the youth so much, but what are we doing? What are we doing to make them better? Do we take a moment to direct them? Do we take a moment to guide them? And if we don't, then we shouldn't criticize. Our future will be whatever we create right now. And if we want a better future, we need to work closer together. I love that. And it's a perfect segue into my next question. You talked about instilling the promise of hope and that you can in the minds of youth, but you're certainly doing that for young girls as well. You are the first female police chief here in DeKalb County. What does that mean to you? That's huge. You know, I'm really honored, and I don't want anyone to view this in a negative way because I'm constantly reminded of, I don't think you get the magnitude of what you've done. And for me, I'm proud of it. And I'm proud of it only simply because it's showing that we can do anything. We can, but at the same time, it's hard work. It's perseverance, and life was not easy. So what I want to say is if I can display anything is the hard work does pay off. Mm -hmm. I come from very humble beginnings. I've had most of the struggles that most people have had, and probably some they haven't, but I've persevered. So if I can show anything is never give up, keep fighting, believe in yourself, even when no one else does, and you'll be amazed that things can happen. Chief Ramos, when you look over the course of your storied career and personal life, what would you say is your greatest accomplishment thus far? I say thus far because there's so many more chapters to go, but what would you say is your greatest accomplishment thus far? It's a hard question. Mm -hmm. It's a hard question because I just do. I, I don't chalk it up to I accomplished this or I accomplished that. I've done some difficult things in my life, but I don't look back and say, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Because in my mind, I can do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. And I instilled that in myself when the world was telling me I couldn't. When the world was telling me I should have been a statistic because I had my child at a young age, I never listened. I listened to the strength within me because we have to rely on ourselves when you don't have anyone else. But when you don't have someone, I want people to understand that you can do whatever you want. If you believe in yourself, you can accomplish anything. And I tell you that, that touches me because I believe that to the core. And I've taught my kids the same thing. Says you're not better than anybody else, but damn it, nobody's better than you either. So you keep trekking forward. Don't give me the excuses. Keep, keep, keep doing. And you achieve what you want to achieve. So when you say what's your biggest accomplishment, I don't know, I don't think I've gotten there yet. This is an accomplishment, but this was someone believing in me. But I'm still gonna keep moving forward. So my biggest accomplishment is yet to come. It's fantastic. Chief, what's your vision for DeKalb County's Police Department? Oh, my vision to, of the DeKalb County Police Department, I think I wanna start from within. I think the vision that I wanna instill inside is that you are heard. You are loved and appreciated. So every time I'm getting kudos from the community, I always come back and tell whoever they were referring to, oh my God, I heard such great things about you. You're doing this, you're doing that. When you're used to doing a lot with a little, not only does the community take it for granted, but I think sometimes we take it for granted. There are some fabulous things being done in this department. The more I hear about what's being done with so little, I'm amazed and I'm looking forward to see what we can do with much more. 
You know, we're doing so much in the community that no one knows about. You know, we have police officers in 21 schools and we're doing cheerleading and sports and we're doing community events and we're doing leadership. We're doing so many things and no one kind of sees those kind of things. So when I, when I meet with everyone, which I'm doing little by little, I'm in all of what we have here and what they think is normal is not really normal. They're doing phenomenal things with limitations. So I want everybody to know that what they're doing here is fabulous. So when I ask all the whys, it's not because they're doing anything wrong, it's because I wanna know how they're doing it and how they're doing it so well too. We have a lot of good things here. And what I want from the community, and honestly the community has been fabulous. When I tell you that I'm in all of that, I am not accustomed to so much support coming from the community, but what I wanna instill in them is that maybe they may have had a negative encounter with one officer. But please know that for that one officer, you have a hundred more that are coming to work every day and their only intent is to help them, to serve them, and to be here for them. So what I wanna do is, when the DeKalb County Police Department is seen out in the community, I want people to feel like they can approach them. I want them to feel like they can embrace them. Like we are one, the community and the police department should be one, and we're here to work together. And I really kinda wanna push that message because I truly believe that we, we could. What's one thing that people may not know about you, a fun fact that we want you to share today? Come, tell us a little something, a little insight. I don't think I'm fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I don't think I'm fun. What's your favorite ice cream? Butter pecan. There you go. We'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> We'll find a way to get her to have some fun. Don't you worry. <laughs> Chief Ramos, thank you so much for bringing your passion and your heart to this line of work in DeKalb County. And thank you for sharing your time with us today. Thank you. What an interview. We again say thank you so much to Chief Ramos. And also, we certainly want to thank all the men and women who put their lives on the line each and every day to make us all safe here in our community. I'm Diamond Lewis. Thanks again for tuning in to this exclusive interview, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Spotlight DeKalb.